a very good morning and a warm welcome to you dear students of standard 8th this is your history class and today we are going to study a very powerful exciting revolutionizing lesson chapter 10 arm revolutionary movement this is a very interesting chapter where you will see a lot of revolutionaries freedom fighters like chandrashekar azad rajguru bhagat singh sukhdev pratilata wadekar and revolutionaries also you will see a lot of events that what has happened that created a lot of inspiring works among the people and how the things changed in order to bring freedom to india so let's go in firstly let us look at the introduction the uprising of 1857 now in chapter 4 that is the freedom struggle of 1857 we studied about different causes and movements by many leaders that led to the uprising of 1857 that is a sepoy mutiny i hope you remember that now in that you see the that the soldiers were given the rifles and the cartridges were given to them and they were to they were supposed to do something they had to bite the cartridge and then fill it into the rifle as you can see in the picture over here right now what was the rumor of the cartridge you have to tell me secondly you can see here there are some kings and the and revolutionaries and there's a queen so can you name them who is this king who is this revolutionary you will very well recognize this these people this great revolutionaries so these all the these are the people who took part in the revolt now let's go ahead now we come to the explanation of the lesson the revolt of 1857 which we which i showed you in the previous slide that it actually failed but what it did it inspired a lot of revolutionary activities which were undertaken by other people now in this lesson you will learn about them who were these people vasudev balwant phadke here you can see the picture of him chafikar prades abina bharat that is mitra mela revolutionary movement in bengal india house gadar movement kakori conspiracy hindustan socialist republican association and lastly attack on chittagong armory so we will look at all these points in this in the video which is you will now see okay pay attention subject history standard 8 the agitations against the british imperialism were carried out in various ways in india imperialism means when a country controls another country politically or economically against the will of the people of country in this chapter we shall get acquainted that is aware of it we have studied about the uprising before 1857 against the british and the freedom movement of 1857 in the later period ram singh kuka organized a rebellion against the government in punjab before we have studied about three movements non cooperation movement civil disobedience movement quit india movement in this chapter we will be talking about armed revolutionary movement wherein in this movement arms and ammunitions were used like guns bombs etc this was a violent movement which pressurized the britishers and disturbed them to an extent let's start with the first revolutionary leader who started with the armed revolution vasudev balwan phadke he was from maharashtra who gave a very strong armed struggle against the british and he had assumed that if we will use armed struggle then only we will be able to fight britishers and win against them with lots of effort he took the training of arms from the vatsat lahuji salve to revolt against the britishers he organized a group ramoshis this rebellion of vasudev phadke became unsuccessful as britishers sent him to eden jail there he died in 1883 but he had built up an armed struggle for independence 
He was not successful in driving Britishers out of our country, but he had created a background. He had created a foundation for armed struggle. Now let us talk about Chafekar brothers. In 1897, Plague Commissioner Rand was resorted to tyranny and force while managing the epidemic of plague in Pune. Now tyranny means cruel treatment that was met out by the government. Now Commissioner Rand was appointed to manage the epidemic, but they did not undertake the work properly due to which many people died in this epidemic. Many people were sick and the situation was getting worse. Due to this, as a revenge, the Chafekar brothers Damodar and Bal Krishna, the two brothers shot Commissioner Ran and he died on spot on 22nd June 1897. Because of this incident, Damodar, Bal Krishna and Vasudev, these three brothers and their associate Mahadev Ranade were hanged to death. And so from the same house three brothers accepted martyrdom that is they died for their country for the service of the country and this turned out to be a great inspiration for the people of india now during the same period that is in 1897 there was a tribe in bihar a community called munda tribe they were leading in bihar under the leadership of birsa munda they had started a revolt against the british government britishers had banned them from using any forest resource and if they wanted anything from the forest they had to take permission and even pay tax for it so they were very angry and so they started with a revolt against the government now let us talk about abhinav bharat in 1900s swatantra veer vinayak damodar savarkar founded an organization named mitra mela it was a secret organization of the revolutionaries in nasik and in 1904 they renamed this organization as abhinav bharat Savarkar had gone to England for higher education and so from England he began secretly sending revolutionary literature guns etc to the members of Abhinav Bharat in India he even wrote an inspiring revolutionary literature of Joseph Mazzini Joseph Mazzini was an Italian revolutionary in 1857 rebellion which was the first war of independence was stated in the book the indian war of independence 1857 This book was written by Swatantra Veer Savarkar. He has given detailed information of 1857 revolt in his book. Now the government came to know about the Abhinav Bharat activities. Abhinav Bharat was working secretly and therefore the government arrested Baba Rao Savarkar and gave him sentence of life imprisonment. And so as a revenge to this punishment, a youth named Anand Lakshman Kanhare killed Jackson the collector of Nasik. so the government started arresting all these people who were connected with abhinav bharat organization and the government linked the murder of jackson with swatantra veer savarkar so he was arrested and put under trial in which the court ordered him rigorous that is strict punishment for 50 years now let's talk about the next revolutionary movement in bengal after the partition of bengal the outrage that is the anger against the british became more and more severe in places of local rebellions comprehensive revolutionary movement had started rising at a national level in the various parts of the country the youth inspired revolutionary thoughts started establishing their secret organization they started creating many groups to keep control over british officers to loosen the government machinery to wipe out the fear in the minds of indians regarding the british government overthrowing of the british rule these were the main objectives of the revolutionary leaders now in bengal a revolutionary organization called anushilan samiti was active the anushilan samiti had more than 500 branches barindra kumar ghosh brother of aurobindo ghosh was the chief of this anushilan samiti this organization received counsel and guidance from aurobindo ghosh The Anushilan Samiti even had a bomb manufacturing center at Maniktala near Kolkata. Now in 1908, Khudiram Bose and Prafulla Chakki, members of Anushilan Samiti, they both planned to kill a judge named Kingsford. But the vehicle in which they threw the bomb was not the one that was carrying Kingsford. In it there were two English women and they were killed in this attack. 
Prafulla Chucky shot himself with the bullet so that he will not fall in the hands of the British. But Kudiram Bose was caught by the police. And during the investigation, the police got the information about the working of Anushilan Samiti. So they started arresting the members of this organization. Aurobindo Ghosh was also arrested. But the government was unsuccessful in linking him to manufacturing of bombs and hence the court set him free. But the other members were sentenced to long terms of imprisonment. Raj Bihari Bose and Sachindranath Sanyal, they even spread the network of revolutionary and they set up at Punjab, Delhi and Uttar Pradesh. Raj Bihari Bose and his associate, they made a daring act that is a challenging act of throwing bomb at the Viceroy Lord Hardinge. But the Viceroy got saved from the attack. The revolutionary work was carried out in Madras province as well. Wanchi Ayer, a revolutionary, killed a British officer named Ash. Later, he shot himself with a bullet and sacrificed his own life. So in this way, in many provinces, the revolutionary work was taking place. The revolutionary work in India even received assistance from Indian revolutionaries staying abroad. India House in London was an important centre which provided for such assistance. Pandit Shyamji Krishna Varma, an Indian patriot, had established India House in London. Through this organisation, youths were given scholarship for higher education in England and Swatantravir Savarkar was among one who received such scholarship. Madam Kama raised the issue of India's independence at the World Socialist Conference held at Stuttgart in Germany. In the same conference, she unfloored the flag of India. And another revolutionary associated with India House was a youth named Madan Lal Dingra. He was the one who killed Curzon Wiley, a British officer, due to which Dingra was hanged to death. Now, during the period of First World War, the revolutionary work against the British government got a momentum. There was a big change. The revolutionary felt that the transfer of power can be brought into India with the help of the enemies of the British. And in this attempt, help of Indian soldiers can also be taken. So to take advantage of this opportunity, revolutionary organizations were set up. And Gadar is one such important organization. The Indians living in America and Canada established the Gadar organization. Lala Hardeyal, Bhai Parmanan, Dr. Pandurang, Sadashiv Khankoje, etc. These were the revolutionary leaders. They were the important leaders of the organization. The word Gadar means revolt. Gadar was also a journal of this organization that acted as its mouthpiece. That is, through this journal, the effects of British rule in India were pointed out and it even gave the information about the daring deeds, that is, challenging events or incidents of these revolutionary leaders. In this way, love for nation and armed rebellion was the message given through the journal Gadar to the Indians. The leaders of the Gadar organization had decided to take advantage of this warlike situation. So they drew out a plan of revolt in Punjab against the British. They even persuaded the Indian soldiers in the British army to join in their revolt. So it was decided that Raj Bihari Bose and Vishnu Ganesh Pingal, they would lead the revolt. But due to treachery, British traced out the plan. That is, one of the members from the Gadar organization had leaked out the plan of Gadar movement to the Britishers. So when the Britishers came to know about it, Pingal fell into the hands of the police and he was hanged to death. But Raj Bihari Bose escaped successfully. And he went down to Japan and continued his revolutionary work. The revolutionary movement was active in other countries during the period. In Berlin, Virendranath Chattopadhyay, Bupin Datna and Hardeyal, they prepared an anti-British plan in cooperation with the German Foreign Ministry. In 1915, Mahendra Pradab, Barkatullah and Obedullah Sindhi established provisional government of free India in Kabul. The Britishers tried many suppressive measures to put an end to the revolutionary movement. But after the suspension of civil disobedience movement by Mahatma Gandhi, 
Many youngsters got diverted to revolutionary ways. Chandrasekhar Azad, Ram Prasad Bismil, Yogesh Chatterjee, Sachindranath Sanyal and many such other revolutionaries, they came together. On 9th August 1925, they planned a conspiracy. They looted the government treasury that was carried in a train near Kakori railway station in Uttar Pradesh. This incident is known as Kakori Conspiracy. By taking image into action, the government arrested the revolutionaries and put them into prison. They were put under trial. Ashwakullah Khan, Ram Prasad Bismil, Roshan Singh, Rajendra Lahiri were hanged, but Chandra Shekhar Azad managed to escape. Now the young men were influenced by socialist ideas, so they decided to set up a nationwide revolutionary organization. Prominent among them were Chandra Shekhar Azad, Bhagat Singh, Raj Guru, Sukhdev, etc. Now all these revolutionaries were secular in their thoughts. In 1928, in the meeting held at Feroz Shah Kotla, ground in Delhi, these young men established the organization called Hindustan Socialist Republican Association. And the main objective behind the establishment of this organization was to free India from British exploitation. They even wanted to throw the unjust socio-economic system which exploited the farmers and workers. And Bhagat Singh gave more importance to creation of a society that was based on social justice and equality. And the work of gathering arms and execution of programs was all entrusted to the separate wing of the organization and that wing was called as Hindustan Socialist Republican Army and Chandra Shekhar Azad was the chief of this wing. Now the members of this organization carried out many revolutionary activities like Bhagat Singh and Raj Guru fired bullets and killed an officer named Saunders in order to revenge the death of Lala Lajpat Rai. Now Lala Lajpat Rai was a follower of Gandhiji. So in one of his protests as a non-violent protest against the Britishers, Lala Rajpat Rai was hit very brutally on his head by a lathi and he died on the spot. So Bhagat Singh and Raj Guru fired bullets and killed an officer named Saunders. The government had even introduced two bills in the Central Legislative Assembly curtailing civil rights. Curtailing civil rights means imposing restrictions on civil rights. So to protest it, Bhagat Singh and Batukeshwar Datta they both threw bombs in the Central Legislative Assembly. The British government immediately raided the centers of Hindustan Socialist Republican Army. And with that, the police also obtained clues related to the killing of Saunders. The government started arresting the revolutionary. They were tried under the charges of sedition. Sedition means when someone tries to provoke against the authority. So they were tried under the charge of sedition on March 23rd. Bhagat Singh, Raj Guru, Sukhdev were hanged in Lahore jail. But till the end, Chandrasekhar Azad did not fall into the hands of the police. But he died in an encounter with police at Alfred Park in Allahabad. Surya Sen was the chief of the revolutionary group at Chittong in Bengal, who had gathered around him revolutionaries like Anand Singh, Ganesh Ghosh, Kalpana Datta, Preeti Lata Vadedar. As per the plan, on 18th April 1930, the revolutionary seized, that is, they forcefully took the arms from the two armories. Armories is a place where all the arms and ammunition like guns and bombs are kept. So they seized the arms from the two armories in Chittagong. They even uprooted the telegraph and telephone lines and they were successful in paralyzing the communication system on 16th Feb. 1933, Surya Sen and some of his associates were captured. Surya Sen and his associates were given death punishment. Kalpana Datta was sentenced to life imprisonment. And Preeti Lata Vadedar killed herself without falling into the hands of the police. During this uprising, Chittagong, the revolutionary movement, gained pace. Shanti Ghosh and Suniti Chaudhary, these two schoolgirls killed the district judge whereas the young girl Bina Das 
shot dead the governor during the convocation ceremony of Kolkata University. Another revolutionary, Sardar Udham Singh killed Dyer, the officer responsible for Jallianwala Bagh massacre in London, 1940. In the freedom struggle of India, revolutionary movement have made an important contribution. These revolutionary have displayed daring and determination fight against the British rule. The love for the nation and attitude of sacrifice is just incomparable. A sacrifice proves to be an inspiration to the Indians. So students from this lesson, we understood about the various revolutionary movements. So students, you have now seen the explanation and understood it completely, right? I hope you have understood very nicely. It was very nicely explained. Now I'm going to show you the real photos of the revolutionaries which were taught in the lesson. These are the real photos. I want to see and recognize the revolutionaries from this lesson. Okay. First one we have is Vasudev Balwan Fadke. This is the real photo print. He was the father of the Indian Armed Rebellion. Then we come to this is Swadantavir V.D. Savarkar. Here we look at Rush Bihari Bose. All these names you have seen in the lesson. This is Surya Sen, born on 22nd March 1894 and died on 12 January 1934. He was a revolutionary who led the 1930 Chittagong Armory Raid. You have learned that lastly. Then this is Shamji Krishna Verma. He was born on 4th October 1857 in Manvi, Kutch, Gujarat and died on 30th March 1930 in Geneva, Switzerland. He did various works. Let us know what are, what are those. He, he was an Indian freedom fighter, Indian Home Rule Society, founder of the India House and the Indian Sociologist. Then we go to the next photos. The real photos of the revolutionaries too. These are the Chapika brothers which you have learnt. This this one this photo is of Damodar Chapikar. This is Bal Krishna Chapikar. And this is Vasudev Chapikar. These three are the Chapikar brothers. Next we go to revolutionary ideology and activist. Who was he? Sachindra Nath Sanyal. Next we come to Barendara Kumar Ghosh and next Bai Parmanan. All these names you have read in the lesson, right children? I hope you remember. Good. Next, the real photos of revolutionaries 3. Lala Hardayal, Madan Lal Dingra. Then this is very famous, these three revolutionaries, Rajguru, Bhagat Singh, Sukhdev, Chandrasekhar Azad. This is a real pic of him and this is his painting. And this is Aurobindo Ghosh. This is photo of Aurobindo Ghosh. Okay. Next. We go to women revolutionaries. You have read about them. One is Priti Lata Vadedar, born on 5th May 1911, died on 23rd September 1932. She was a revolutionary and freedom fighter, revered as Iron Lady of Bengal. Kalpana Datta was her classmate. Here you can see Kalpana Datta. We'll talk about her later. First, let's continue with Priti Lata Vadedar. During her brief stint as a teacher, she used stories of Rani Lakshmi Bai to instill nationalism in students. So, she was a teacher, we come to know from this. She was trained at Dipali Sangha. June 1932, she joined Surya Sen's revolutionary group. Some members of the group opposed women joining, but it was Reason that women would at attract much less suspicion by British authorities. So, 
so it was thought that they should also be included first initially they were not included but then the members of the group thought it will be better that we include the women also as it the british people will not suspect them to challenge them next we come to uh, the priti lata wadidar and the revolutionaries here you can see them going with guns and all in this picture next we come to kalpana datta born in 1913 and died in 1995 yes she was a revolutionary who rewrote unwritten women's history and the next we come to the famous bikaji bikaji kama also known as madam kama i repeat bikaji kama was also known as madam kama born on 24 september 1861 and died on 13 august 1936 now we come to the final photos the real photos of revolutionaries shanti ghosh and suniti choudhary at age this is a photo of shanti ghosh and this is of suniti choudhary at age 15 shanti ghosh who was born on 22nd november 1916 and died in 1989 was an indian nationalist who along with suniti choudhary assassinated a british district magistrate here you can see this is a clip from the movie where they are shooting a district magistrate when she was 16 years old and is known for her participation in the armed revolutionary struggle so they shot a british magistrate so that this was a very brave thing on their part to challenge the british authorities so i hope you have understood this lesson and and felt very excited listening and watching all the photos and videos thank you